Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Uh, I'm great, teacher. Nice, how was your day? Yeah. Mm, it was a little, a little easy. Nice, good for you. So you said yes. you you said you live in Zacatecoluca, right? Yes. What's the weather today? Right now is very hot, teacher. It I, didn't didn't it rain? No, no raining today. I hope um, after class. Yeah, I thought it, it, it rained because I live near, not so close, but I live near and in my city it rained all afternoon. In Olocuilta so. City, well, in Olocuilta City was raining. Yeah. At the midday. Really? Yes, but here, yes, but here no raining. It this. didn't. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope after the class rains so you can sleep like very fresh. All right. So, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the class, everybody. Who else is there? I can see Erica. Hello, Erica. How are you? Hello. I'm doing the homework. <laughs> <laughs> ah, a little bit late, but. <laughs> Better late than never. You know, the there are... is the last thing that we lost. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, but, you know, there are some exercises that are a little bit confusing. And this is what I was um, helping some of your classmates. Because sometimes, especially in the exercises that where you have to type, there are some um, special answers. It, yeah. that yeah sometimes it's because of the platform remember if one letter is wrong everything is wrong if you are typing the sentence and it is not the answer that the platform has so it will be a mistake even if your answer is correct so that's why if you have some issues take a screenshot and i will help you with that okay yeah, okay Okay, thank no you. No worries, you're welcome. So everybody, what day is today, huh? Today? Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday, and what happens with Fridays? My body knows. <laughs> I like that. Any plans for the weekend, everybody? Uh huh. No plans. Yeah, I have to work. <laughs> no plans anymore. <laughs> All right. Besides working, do you have any plans? Any other plans? Or just work? No work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't have work, rest. Okay, Nelson. How about you? What are your plans? I don't I don't have social life. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I have to work bro. every single day. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, that's pretty sad. Well, I hope you can rest at least a little bit, okay? And the other ones, everybody? What are your plans for the weekend? Uh -huh. Anyone else? Nobody, my gosh. Sleep, watch a movie, watch Super Mario. Did you watch that movie, everyone, or not yet? I haven't. I wanted, but I haven't. Hmm. Okay, well, I can give you an idea about what you can do on weekend and is finish the platform. Uh, remember everybody, next week is basically the last one. Okay, so remember that 
before next Friday, you had to finish the platform. Okay, you had to finish the four units and also the exam. Remember that in the section number four, you have the last written exam, so you have to finish it. Okay, so again, if you have questions with the platform, with a specific exercise, you can tell me and I will help you. Okay, but just remember, take a screenshot so I can see the information, what is the exercise about. So let's start. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Causatives. Yes, very good. The causatives. And we studied two verbs. Do you remember the verbs? Makes and gets. And gets. Very good. Excellent. So we are going to continue with that topic. Okay. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes. Excellent. So today is April 21st. And as you said, yesterday we were talking about the causatives. And it's time to see the causatives, but the part two. And today we are going to see other two verbs that are very common to use in the causatives. But let's see if you remember uh, the previous one. So the class objective, I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Volunteer for reading. Me, teacher? Yes, I? please. Class objective, just have let and help as a causative verbs. Very good, thank you. So yesterday we talked about make and get. So today we continue talking about causatives, but using let and help. Now, if you remember, well, I'm going to stop sharing it. Let's see, make. How can we use make as a causative? What do you think? Uh -huh. Or when someone put in my their authority. Authority, that's correct. And what is the structure? Do you remember? What is the structure? Do I need make? make? make. Uh -huh. Plus, plus uh -huh. someone, someone plus and there in base form. Very good. That's it. And question Do I need a preposition to? No. no, 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 very good. So if I use make, for example, if I say, um, let's see, let's see. The government makes me pay taxes. Is that a favor? What do you think? Uh -huh. It's an obligation. Ah, very good. It's an obligation. It's with the authority. Now, what about the verb get? What is the difference with get? How can I use get? Get is like depends. It's not, it's, it's not an order. It's a favor, maybe. We can use it as a favor or what else? It's a convince. When someone convinces you, very good. And what is the structure that I need? Get plus someone plus infinity verb. Yes. Do I need a preposition? Yes. 
In this case, I do. Very good job. So everyone, exactly as you said, may is basically when we force to someone to do something. And this is the structure, as you said, I need the verb in the base form, but without the preposition, okay? My mother makes me clean, the police made the thief surrender, uh, the government makes me pay the taxes. So they are using the authority. Now, as you said, with get, it's a little bit different. Here is about convincement. Someone convinced me to do something. And the structure is similar. But the difference is that here, I do need the infinitive. That means the preposition to. And here we got some examples. And this is something that we studied yesterday. Is there any question, everybody? about the causative with make and get? Uh -huh. Any question? No questions, are you sure? No one. Okay, well, if you don't have questions, okay. So if you don't have questions, let's move on to the next one. We are going to see the second part of the causative verbs and we are going to see the verb help and let. I will need some volunteers for reading. Let me do it bigger. Who wants to read? Volunteers for reading? Me. Okay, Jamie, someone else? Me, teacher. And Nelson. Okay, Nelson, you will be Mateo. Jamie, you will be Angela. Go ahead. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I, I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business card. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of love you focus you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with at define the brands you want. Thank you. So if you see in this case, we are just using causative and now we are using help and let. So how these verbs works. Let's find the structure. In this case, let's start with help. We already know the meaning of help. Yes? What is the translation for the he uh, for help? What is the translation? Ayuda. Exactly. Ayuda. If it is the verb, ayuda, right? So that is the meaning the same in the causatives. It's basically aid someone or to help someone to do something. Give them a hand, so help them. Here, we got a special structure. I need help, someone, the person who does the action, and pay a lot of attention here. I have two options with the verb help. I can use the base form without the preposition, or I can use the infinitive. That means with the preposition. So both are correct, okay? Let's see some examples. Movies in English have 
helped me, and look at this, you can say, helped me improve my English, or help me to improve my English. Both ways are correct. And the same as we talked about yesterday, we can use these verbs in all the grammar tenses, in present, in past, in future, and even in this grammar tense. What is this grammar tense? Do you remember? What is that grammar tense? Past participle. Close. Uh, present, present, present. Present, <laughs> present perfect. Okay. Present the perfect. verb, the verb is in the past participle, correct? But this one is the present perfect. Okay. Now the next example. Coffee helps people. Again, you can say, a coffee helps people um, to concentrate or coffee helps people concentrate. So you can use both with the preposition or without the preposition. Understood, everybody? Yes? No? A little bit? A little bit. Okay, let's do a practice so this topic can be a little bit more uh, specific. Um, sorry, everybody, could you listen in to me perfectly? Yes. Yes? Todos me escuchan bien? Okay, sorry, yes. es que sentí que mi connection estaba así como slow. If you cannot listen to me, let me know, please. Okay, let's see some examples. Again, help someone base form of the verb or infinitive. I need a volunteer for reading the first example, please. Someone to read, who wants to read? Okay, me. Thank you, go ahead. The training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. A marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. Thank you. Now, check here the first sentence. We are using the base form of the verb. Look. We don't have the preposition to. In the second example, we do have the preposition to. That means we are using the infinitive form of the verb. So everybody, here is up to you. You decide which structure you will use. You decide if you will use the base form of the verb or if you are going to use the infinitive form of the verb. It's up to you, okay? Now, let's see some questions and I want you to answer. Look at the number one. When was the last time someone helped you to do something? So, you have to use the structure. When was the last time someone helped you to do something? What do you think? For example, my father helped me to take my dog to the vet. Okay? So, in this case, I'm using infinitive, but if you want, you can do it just with the base form of the verb. It's up to you. Now, everybody, can you give me an example? When was the last time someone helped you to do something? Huh? My teacher, me, my husband helped me to, to clean 
the kitchen today. All right, very good. My husband helped me. It helped me. Can you repeat? Help me. Help uh -huh. me to clean the kitchen today, for example. Yes, very good. To clean the kitchen today. So, in this case, she used the infinity form. Perfect. So, it's up to you. Anyone else? When was the last time someone helped you to do something? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. You mentioned the phrase up to. Oh, It yes. means choose. When you say up to or up to you, that means that is your decision. It's up to you. It's like to say depends on you. Depende de ustedes, the ones that you prefer. So it's up to you. It's your decision. Okay. Okay, thank you, Fisher. You're welcome. Ivan, go ahead. Okay. Um... Teacher, I don't understand. Uh, they use the infinity. No, no, no tengo muy claro ese, ese concepto de. Mm -hmm. No infinity. worries. I'm going to explain. Remember, everyone, in English, we have two types of verbs. We have gerunds. Gerunds are the verbs that are ending in ing. For example, if I say cleaning, oops. Cleaning. This verb is ending in ing. Cuando yo tengo un verbo ending in ing, a ese verbo yo le voy a llamar gerund. When I have a verb with the preposition to and then the basic form, for example, to clean, that verb is infinitive, ¿ok? So, si ustedes ven esto, si ustedes ven que el verbo está así sin ningún cambio y tiene la preposición to, entonces decimos que ese verbo está en infinitive, ¿ok? And then, if you have a verb that, for example, says only clean, El verbo no tiene ningún cambio, pero no lleva la preposición to. A eso se le llama base form. Teacher, es un verbo en is, su base form. Uh -huh. me, what is translation de, de to clean? Para de, limpiar. In this case, to clean is just limpiar. It's just that. Básicamente, everyone... If you use the verb in infinitive or in the base form, esto se traducen de la misma forma. All right? Ellos simplemente son un verbo sin conjugar. Es decir, limpiar, jugar, correr. So, they don't have any conjugation. A eso se refiere infinitive or base form. All right? So, in this okay. case, the preposition to, it doesn't have a translation. Okay? Now, why is this important? Because in English, we cannot put two verbs together. Okay? In this sentence, I'm using help. And this is something that I was explaining yesterday at the end of the class. I don't know if everybody remembers. I have the verb helped. And then I have the verb do. So I need to separate the verbs. There are some verbs that are flexible. There are some verbs that are not flexible. Help. It's a little bit flexible because you can decide. You can use the infinitive or the base form. So you can say as your classmates, help me to clean. ¿Cuál usó ella? El infinitive or el base form? 
infinity. Exactly. Si yo le quito el to, ¿cuál sería? Help me form. clean. Exactly, the base form. So, aquí en esta sentence, you decide. For example, imagine if I want to say, my teacher helps, uh, well, in past, helped me to understand the topic. So, ¿cuál estoy usando? Infinity. Exactly. But if you want, you can say this. My teacher helped me understand the topic. So that is the sentence. You decide which one you will use. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. And that's the 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 verse is the is como se dice no conjugar. No conjugado. No conjugado. O sea, el verbo no se conjuga. En este caso, el segundo caso, verbo no. El to, el to para infinito. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. El verbo que va a llevar el cambio es el verbo help. El segundo verbo, ese se mantiene tal cual está. Mm -hmm. So I can see Jamie and Rosalina lift their, you. their hands. You're welcome. So Jamie, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Uh, I don't. I don't have so clear. So clear. Um, I have an idea, but I know clear. I, when I can use um, the verb in the in the head gerum. Oh, I'm giving you this concept just to be clear. Les doy este, este concepto de gerund porque les estaba explicando las otras formas de los verbs. El gerund, ¿cuándo podemos usar gerunds? Do you remember? ¿Cuándo usamos verbos terminados en ing? Present continuous. In the present yeah. continuous, for example. I can say, I am sleeping. I am eating. I'm using gerunds, but also I can use gerund to separate the verbs. Pero no puedo hacer esto con todos los verbos. Aclaro, hay verbos que son flexibles y hay otros que no. Like is flexible. So yo puedo decir, I like to play. Estoy usando infinitive. But also I can say, I like Playing. ¿Y cuál sería la traducción? ¿Me gusta jugando? No. En esta oración, la traducción es igual. Me gusta jugar. So, ese es un tema. Eh, the topic is gerunds and infinitives. I'm not sure if you already studied this topic or if you will see it maybe later in the next levels or you can search it on internet. In English, the rule is, no se puede poner dos verbos a la par. Hay que separarlos. Hay verbos que son flexibles y podemos usar las dos formas, ya sea un infinitive o un gerund. Pero hay verbos que no son flexibles. Hay verbos que solo podemos usar el infinitive o tal vez solo el gerund. O en el caso de help, Nos está dando la opción de usar ya sea el infinitive o la base form. Es decir, quitarle la preposition to. Eh, did I answer your question, Jamie? Yes. Okay, nice. Eh, Rosalina, did you have a question? Uh, yes, that is my question. Uh, why, why I need to use... Uh, Infinitive verb, if uh, it's covered use in, in the same, in the, in the base form, the verb. I, I don't understand, I, I, I'm, I'm lost right now. Okay, do you mean, why do you need the infinitive form or the base form in these type of sentences? Yes. Is that your question? Yes. Okay, perfect. Easy, because I have the verb help, 
And then in the same sentence, look, I have help. But what happened then? I have the other verb, take. And I need to separate them. Look, don't get confused. Some people think, teacher, pero ahí dice me. El me los está separando. Not really. Okay? And this is something that also I explained yesterday. For example, if you say, I like... Um, what was the sentence? Imagine if I say, I like a lot play soccer. Yo tengo la palabra a lot y me los está separando. But even when I have the word a lot, I always need the preposition to, to separate them. Okay? I like a lot to play soccer. So it's the same here. Yo tengo la palabra me, but even though I need to separate the verbs. So con el verbo help, I have two options. Podemos usar el infinitive o podemos usar la base form. Pero hay que separarlos. That's the reason why we use the infinitive or the base form in this sentence. At the contrary, just imagine the example. Imagine that I say, eh, my father helped me, took my dog to the vet. No estoy usando infinitive, estoy usando el simple past. Oof, but what will be the translation? Mi papá me ayudó, llevé mi perro al veterinario. ¿Tendría sentido la oración? No. Not really, right? So, para que tenga sentido, tengo que decir, mi papá me ayudó a llevar. Llevar no. me está dando la indicación de que el verbo no se ha conjugado. So, my father helped me llevar mi perro al veterinario. Uh, I'm not sure if I answer your question, Rosalina. Is it clear? Yeah. For example, in, in this uh, 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 sentences, my father helped me to take. Yes. You have to, that? Yes, of course. You have two options. Podemos decir, help me take or help me to take. De las dos formas se puede. No problem. Only no help problem. Mm -hmm. Y la traducción es la misma. The translation is the same. So, ustedes deciden. Si ustedes creen que es más fácil agregándole el to, perfect. Úsenlo con el to. Si ustedes no le quieren poner el to, perfect. Don't do it. But, uh, okay. ojo, uh -huh. esto es solo con el verbo yeah. help. But exactly. the other, you need to use to. Uh -huh. to exactly. the verb. I got Correct. it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you You're Ms. welcome. So, this is something important, everybody. Y eso sí se lo tienen que aprender. El caso de help. Help is flexible. Okay. O sea, help okay. sí permite usar las dos formas. All right. Pero hay otros verbos que no. For example, if you remember make. Cuando usábamos make, ¿cuál forma de teníamos que usar del verbo? Infinitive or base form? Base form. Base form. Make is not flexible. Si ustedes me usan el infinitive con make, mm -mm, it's incorrect. So another example, get. Which form of the verb did I use with get? Infinitive. Exactly. With get, you cannot use the base form, only the infinitive. So that's the point. And this is what you have to memorize. Some verbs, flexible. Some verbs, mm -mm, they are not flexible. Okay? Got it? Yes? Clear as water or <laughs> clear as horchata. 
Lit or rachara? <laughs> well, al menos, al menos no es como el tamarindo, right? I mean, no. yesterday it was like tamarindo, so today it's, it's like rachata. Like, it's like a, a maracuyá. <laughs> yeah, much better. That's that's better. <laughs> okay, next question. Have you ever helped a stranger do anything, everyone? Imagine someone you don't know, someone that is in the streets. Have you ever helped a stranger? Yes or no? No, never. Anyone? <laughs> you never help the a stranger? Okay, but the boss is not a stranger. Right. Yes. When, 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 uh, hey, you can get my, the it. Ah. Or the preg pregnant do, woman. Do you, I think. do you mean, do you mean uh, the passengers okay. in a bus? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. I think. So my, imagine mm -hmm. what will be the sentence here. You can say, I have helped, for example, a pregnant woman. Mm -hmm. uh, to sit in the bus. To sit. Uh -huh. Okay. So you gave her your space, your seat, so she could sit. That's a good one. Anyone else? Have you ever helped a stranger? Uh huh. Never. Oh, yes, teacher. <laughs> I, I do oh, every no day. Gentleman. No, no gentleman and lady in the class. <laughs> I see that. Okay, Magdalena, tell me, what do you do? Oh, yes, I work at my home. I am at my house. I work with the beaches. With the if I don't work in that, my wife. <laughs> she got angry. <laughs> yeah, she got angry. <laughs> it's on my side. <laughs> oh my goodness, be careful. <laughs> okay. I am in trouble. You are, definitely. Be careful. Okay, so everybody, what do you do every day to help in your house? Try to give me sentences following the structure. Remember, help someone and then the verb. What do you do every day to help in your house? I help to my I help. Uh -huh. I help my no, I help my wife to, to, to wash the dishes. Very good, to wash the dishes. That's a very nice sentence. Very good. Anyone else? What do you do every day to help in your house? I help my son to do the homework. Nice. I help my son to do the homework. Very good. Anyone else? Uh -huh. Or oh, you don't help in your house. My gosh. Well, you can give me the sentence in negative if you want. For example, I don't help to cook. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I help my mother. To feed the pets. Very good. How many pets do you have? I have two dogs and one cat. Very nice. So you see, I help my mom to feed the pets. So this is the way that we can use help as causatives. 
So remember the structure. The secret is in memorize the structure. You need the verb help. Then you need the person, someone you are helping to. And then you need the verb. And the verb, you decide. It can be in infinitive or in the base form. As simple as that. Clear, everyone? Clear as maracuyá juice. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. And sure. We have to 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 learn that the bear is flexible. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, if you know, if I have a list, for example, that that bear flexible. Actually, yes. There is a list. I'm going to try it, mm, but. Be honest with you, the list is a little bit long because we are talking about all the verbs. What I can do, I'm going to try to do it during the weekend. Um, voy a buscar una lista de More verbos, common. <laughs> de los verbos más comunes, exactly. And uh, la lista most likely will be like this. Um, let me erase this. La lista is más que todo like this. For example, verbs that can be followed uh, by infinitives. Okay? Y aquí les van a dar todos los verbos que pueden ser seguidos por un infinitive. Aquí tenemos el caso, for example, del verbo want. Si ustedes colocan un verbo a la par de want, siempre tiene que ser in infinitive, all the time, not options. Also, you can have the option that says verbs that can be followed by gerunds. For example, um, want to go. En el caso de este, son verbos que solo pueden ser seguidos por gerunds. For example, el caso de enjoy. Si ustedes usan enjoy y después de enjoy colocan otro verbo, ese verbo solo puede ser seguido por un infinitive. For example, I enjoy watching TV. If you say I enjoy to watch TV, no, that's not possible. And there is the last one that is verbs that can be followed by both. Infinitive or gerunds. And here we got the verb like. So we can say, I like to go or I like going. So something like that, una lista así como esta es la que les voy a tratar de conseguir. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. <laughs> okay, I will try to do it on weekends and I will try to search for at least the most common verbs. Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay. Um, Christian Alexander. Okay, very good. Erika Yasmin. Present. Very good. Uh, Fatima Denise. Very good. Gabriel Beltrán. Gabriel Beltrán. Héctor Francisco. Present Nice. Isabel Hernández. Isabel Hernández. Yes. Present. Very good. Iván Guzmán. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Holman Giron. Present. Nice. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. 
Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present. Excellent. Pamela, you were in, in the class yesterday, right? Yes, the Dre can connect. Okay. But you are not sick, right? You are okay? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. Nice. Okay. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Selvin Adonai. Okay, very good. And Mirna Alvarenga. Present. Very good. Okay, so everyone, we already checked help. Okay, now let's see the next verb. And the next verb is let. What is the meaning of the verb let? Let is basically give the permission, okay? Help is when you give your help to someone, when you aid to someone. Let is not help. Let is give the permission. What is the structure of this verb? Easy. Let, then you need a person again. And what do I need next? Look, base the form. verb in the base form. Do I need a preposition too? Yes or no? No. No. No, exactly. So let's see some examples. My dad let me drive his new car. Look, I'm using let i'm using the person and also i'm using the verb in the base form do i need the preposition too no i don't need it okay another example he let his girlfriend use his cell phone aha <laughs> what do you think guys do you do that do you let your girlfriend use your cell phone? Or girlfriends, do you let your boyfriend to use your cell phone? No. <laughs> it's, it's no binary. Don't, no binary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So you see, that is the sentence. That is the structure that you need to follow. So pay attention in the difference. What you have to memorize is, do you need infinitive or do you need the verb in the base form? That's what you have to memorize. Let's see some examples. Oh, these examples are on your manuals, okay? If you want to see that. I need volunteer for reading, please. The first example. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Some companies let clients go through a service trial before they decide to pursue. Very good. So look, I got the subject, the verb let. I have someone, and then the verb in the base form. But what happens if I have their person? Volunteer for reading. The second example, please. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. Nice. Very good job. What happens if it is their person? We need to add the letter S. And then <laughs> always the verb in the base form. What is the meaning of let again? Synonym, synonym is the give. Synonym of give, but give a permission. Excellent. Give a permission. Okay. So let's do some examples. We are going to see those sentences and we are going to try to use them in different grammar tenses. For example, Let's do the first one in simple present. The verb is 
day. What will be the sentence? Uh -huh. In simple present, I yes. let my cat to stay in the house. To stay? Can I no, say to stay? Stay. Ah, mm. stay. Good. stay. 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 I let my car, I'm sorry, my cat stay in the house. What is the meaning? The meaning is like I give the permission to my cat to stay in my house. So that is the translation, basically. That is the meaning. Okay, let's do the next one in third person. Always, simple present. What will be the answer? My sister let, let my sister let me use let her uh -huh. use her cell phone. Good job. Very good. Okay, let's try it with future. Future. Use will instead of going you will cook. You will. You will let. let 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 us cook some pork some pork that's the one very good very good okay so we are we are going to try with the last one we hmm let's do it in simple past ivan do you have a question yes teacher okay I I, really? I I I I confuse and uh, they use the 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 word as. Oh. Oh, I, I, o sea, me confundo ya. O sea, let let me ask as is, mm -hmm. mm, I don't remember uh, what what is the uh, use. The meaning. The meaning exactly. Mm -hmm. No problem. As is when we are talking about we. Okay, so remember we have the subject pronouns. Los subject pronouns son esos que van al inicio de la oración, right? I, you, he, we, okay? That, mm -hmm. Those are the subject pronouns. But we have the object pronouns. Los object pronouns son los que van al final or después del verbo. In this case, Ya no digo I, voy a decir me. me. You is the same. You. Para he, ¿cuál es? Do you remember? Him. Exactly. So, cuando uso we, we are going to use? Us. In this case, the translation is, you will let us. What would be the translation? Tú dejaste cocinar. No, no. Tú dejarás. ¿A quién? ¿A quién le va a dar el permiso? A, a nosotros. Exactly. So the translation will be: Tú nos dejarás cocinar, cocinar unos eh, puerquitos. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. I so, know. <laughs> I like that translation. I like that. <laughs> so, remember, us is when we are talking about we. Okay? Uh, pero no son los, los, este, los, los possessive. This is not a possessive. This possessive, is basically, uh, el name of this one is objective pronoun. Son objective pronouns. Exactly. Pronombre la, reg uh -huh. la regla de ellos es que van usualmente o al final de la oración o después del verbo. So that's the rule. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. Pero, ajá, pero da, da a entender eso, o sea que no solamente, o sea que son varios. En este caso de esta, de este ejemplo, uh -huh. está diciendo que son varias personas. Exactly. That is we. How many people? I don't know. It's just we. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. Great. Thank the you. last one. Let's do it in simple past. Do you remember what is the past form of let? 
let. <laughs> Is the same? Are you sure? No. <laughs> let, <laughs> let, let. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let, let, let. <laughs> I want you to be confident. You know, I remember one in, in one group, I had a student. He was very confident all the time, even when his answers were <laughs> wrong. But man, he had a confidence that's amazing. Believe me, at the end, he got a job even when his English wasn't good enough. But he got the job because of his confidence. I mean, he said, if he said, I am Barack Obama, with the tone of voice and the authority that he said, you could believe him. <laughs> that is <laughs> true. So I want you to be confident, okay? So simple okay. fast. We let him. Can I say to go or go? Go. Go. That is the one. So we let him go on vacations. So that is the structure that you need to remember with let. Let someone and the verb in the base form. Is it clear, everybody, the structure of let? Yes? Yes, a little bit. Yes, it's clear, but my problem yeah. when I talk in English, I, I add all the time the preposition mm -hmm. for separate the verb. This is the problem when you, when you talk. Yes, and what happens is that we are used to do that. Because all the time we always put the preposition to, when you don't need to put the preposition to, okay. it's like you are hesitating, yeah. right? Exactly. But this is with the practice, okay? okay? No worries. Later, you will memorize it. So practice. Let's try to practice speaking. And in this moment, I want you to participate. Okay, think about this sentence, but in simple past. <laughs> think about when you were younger, when you were teenagers. What didn't your parents let you do when you were teenagers? Think about something that your parents didn't give you the permission. So for example, um, they didn't let me, uh, of course, go to Paris. <laughs> okay? How about you, everyone? Another example? My parents didn't let me a smoke. Very good. Didn't let me smoke. Cigarettes or <laughs> or some or some. Or, or, or some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else? What didn't your parents let you do? Uh -huh. Examples, examples. Uh, my parents don't let me go to a lot of parties. Okay, simple past. Can I say don't? Ah, it didn't. Ah, very good. So they didn't let me go to a lot of parties, nice. So you see, we are using the structure. Just remember, here we don't need a preposition to. Question number two, volunteer for reading, please. What doesn't your boss let you do at work? Thank you, simple present. Uh-huh. Think about your boss. Think about the activities that you cannot do a job. So what doesn't your boss let you do at work? My boss, my boss doesn't let me 
I'm late. Let me arrive late. Ah, very good. Late. Yes, that's a good sentence. Very nice. What else? Anyone else? Mitchell, teacher. Okay, uh, Nelson and then Hector. My boss doesn't let me to get to get a day off a day off ah, okay in this case it's better if you say to take in to this take. case take is better now my question is do i need a preposition too nelson i listened to the the previous sentence we have two mm. but i don't know my boss doesn't let me arrive. They didn't let me. Okay, without two. Exactly, very good. So my boss doesn't let me take the day off. Very good, very good. Uh -huh. Hector? Uh, my boss doesn't let me listen music. And the <laughs> office. Oh, oh you are you, you are a slave, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> a slave. How about you, Ivan? What does rock music? <laughs> Heavy metal. Rock, mu rock music. <laughs> like, like, scorpion. <laughs> okay. Scorpion. Now, let's see, Ivan. No, Rams. Thing. Okay, teacher. Tell Listen. Me, what What doesn't your boss let you do at work? Okay, in my case, my boss doesn't let me uh, leave early. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very, that's all the all the example. time, all the time, all days, <laughs> Monday, you, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> you can never leave early. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, and the last one, everybody, for the ones who have kids. What activities don't you let your kids do? If you don't have kids, you can think about your nephews or maybe your, if you had a pet, activities that you don't let your pets do. Uh-huh, what do you think? Give me I sentence. Don't, I don't let my kids do noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at home or, or into home? Oh, yeah, at home, you can say at, at home. home. Okay. At <laughs> home. Very good, very good. What else? Another example, everyone? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't let my sister uh, go late. Late. Mm, can you repeat? Because I cannot hear you very well. I don't let my uh, sister go out late. Go out. Ah, go out late. Go out. Go out late. Yes. Ah, very good. How old is your sister? Uh, I, I don't. I. I think this. This year, uh, 12. Ah, yes, she's very young. Yes, yes, yes. All right. It's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. Very good, Holman. You are a good brother. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, everybody. So, this is the structure that you have to use with let. Okay. Subject let someone and the verb in the base form if you see in this case we are using sentences in negatives but also we can use it in affirmative for example tell me activities that you do let your kids do what are some activities that you give the permission to your kids? For example, 
I let my kids. Uh huh. Give me examples. Affirmatives. I play with. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Magdaleno and then Mirna. Uh, play with their with their toys. Very good. So you see, affirmative. Very nice, Mirna. I let my kids play the guitar. Very good. How old are they? Six years. <laughs> okay, very nice. Nice examples. So everybody, is it clear the structure? Yes or no? 50-50, 60 percent, 90 percent. Uh-huh. A little bit confused. A little bit confusing. Okay. Who else? Everybody? Clear or not clear? Me, teacher. Yes? Clear? Okay, well, more, or less, more or less. More or less. Okay, let's do something because not everybody participated giving examples. Let's do some speaking practice. Okay. And I'm going to send the same questions on WhatsApp's group. In this moment, we are going to use only the verb get. Okay. So I'm sending the questions. And we are going to go to the groups and answer the questions. In the last question, remember, if you don't have kids, I mean, you can talk about someone else. You can talk about uh, your pets or as Holman did, you can talk about uh, maybe your sister or your brother or your nephew, if you have nephews, okay? So the idea is that everybody answer all the questions. For this activity, we only have five minutes. So everybody, let's go and practice. Remember in this moment, zero Spanish, okay? Let's go to work. Please, everybody, enter to the groups, okay? Let's go. Hello, who am I with? Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, Faslina. How are you? Hello, how are you? My, my, uh, okay, I'm trying to say my, <laughs> <laughs> my smart. <laughs> <laughs> Believe oh, no. me. Yeah. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hello. Hi, hello, Mirna. How are you? Uh, bye. Fine, fine. <laughs> Who's there? Lucy, you are sick, bye. yes? Lucy, sick. Yes, yeah. sick. Hmm. It's a change. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, we have to. Can somebody read, read the, the, the questions? So, talk about the question. The first question is What didn't your parents let you do when you were a teenager? Okay. <laughs> a lot of things for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The first is the. For me, it was the opposite. That you really, yes, <laughs> I, actually, they let me do, I think, almost everything not almost everything, but I had a lot of permission when I was when you was teenager, 
Yes. Really? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, freedom. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind yeah. of. Yeah, in my case, no. They, my parents let me, let me, uh, for example, let me go out with my friends uh, in the night, for example. Mm hmm. Go yeah. to the... really. or, yes. Seriously? Yes, my parents uh, didn't let me go to the the beach, for example, alone or with my friends. Or the yeah. discotheque, yeah. Or for the, the uh -huh, yes, at the uh -huh. discotheque. Yeah, and the, during the night. I remember. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Like for me, the hour to come home was I if I home when I was thirteen. Thirteen. The last hour. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. The last hour to the the last hour to go home was six and a half p.m. Uh -huh. When I was fifteen, and it was seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was saying it was like uh, 10 or 11. Twelve. <laughs> oh, no, for me, no. Or maybe tomorrow, <laughs> say, see you tomorrow. <laughs> no, yeah. for me, me too, Rosalina. <laughs> actually, 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 I remember that I told him, I told them, okay, I'm going to come early home, don't worry, I'm going to come mm. early. And I was at the next day, but early. I was at 8 a.m. Exactly 8 a.m. o'clock. It was early. It was Are early. You sure? I didn't lie. <laughs> Me, just when I graduate to the university. No, no, not to university, but when I study in the university, they let me permission more thin that been, but when I was in a year, no, impossible <laughs> with them. <laughs> No, <laughs> something like that. No. no. <laughs> okay. I remember. Yes, I remember we, that we too. Yes, we don't have television. <laughs> so Go to we have early. <laughs> yes, very early. Go to sleep. Okay. Yes, nice. And and also, we don't have light, electricity. Ah. Okay, so you had you had to to go to sleep early. <laughs> yes, that's okay. the question. I remember too that my parents didn't let me go to play out uh, when when it was raining. <laughs> I I love rain when it's raining, so I I I want to play in the rain, and my parents didn't let me <laughs> do it. Yes, they they uh, and that's dangerous. Yes, you that's are going to yes, you are going to be sick. <laughs> yes. Yes. I remember that. Okay, if you want, we go with the second question. Um, what doesn't your boss let you do at work? What about you, Hector? Uh, my boss, my boss does that let let me. Uh, um make a uh, make the report like a one like what like i won i won ah okay I won. You, have, they, you, have, they... you have like um a model or something like that yes they have they they, oh, we have a, 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 a structure, but oh, I okay. think the structure is very 
very simple. Boring. <laughs> um, bo uh, border. <laughs> border. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, nice. Um, my boss. My boss, in my case, my boss doesn't let me eat um, in the working hours. So we have only, we only have the, the lunch time for it, something. You don't drink coffee during the work? Only, only like something to to drink, but something to eat, no. <laughs> oh my god! He he is hey, so hey, bad. <laughs> he is so bad. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. <laughs> and what about you, Nelson? In my, in my case, I can drink coffee and I can eat bread, a piece of bread. Oh. That's yes, nice. I, and also sometimes when on Saturday, I I buy a a bread and go to the world and and everybody drink coffee with a piece of bread. Oh yes, in the afternoon. Yes, maybe night again. Ah, in in the middle of the morning. Yes, but oh. uh, my but my boss <laughs> doesn't let me use earphone in our work, but we can use. If I want, if I want a piece, I don't let. Uh, I don't let it much, very much in the night. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, I I I don't I don't let uh, I don't let play without finish uh, homework. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good point. And don't, uh, don't let play without finish homework. It's your, it's your homework. Mm -hmm. Right. Bien condicionado. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an example. My yeah. my diary my diary is a. Uh, I have uh, 20, 20, 21 years old. Uh -huh. So yeah. more, more quickly finishes your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. Very relaxed. Huh? Oh, you, 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 you yeah, but you, allow, you, you can sleep in your work. <laughs> And Maybe no. not sleep, but <laughs> first take a nap. Take a snap, take a nap. Snap, take a nap. <laughs> Maybe not sleep, but uh, meditar could be Med meditation. Ah, meditation. Oh, yoga. Meditation. You, you, oh, you're saying thanks for everything. <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah, maybe on your Yes, if you have in your lunch time, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, a little cut. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What is the name? No, no. No, no. Actually, at the beginning, we think... Uh, uh... Erika, show me. Mm? Yeah. No, no. 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 <laughs> Speak no, English or Spanish? <laughs> No, no. Yes, meow. Hi, no, no. How are you? <laughs> Do you speak English or Spanish? <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. You know. You know. I, I have two things to say. Number one, beautiful cut. I love it. Oh, you're beautiful. But number two, 
I wish <laughs> the same excitement that you feel when you see the, the cat, that's the same feeling when I say volunteers. <laughs> give me oh, examples. My God. Uh, oh, my God. No, teacher. <laughs> Actually, in my case, I try to let them pra uh, practice, participate. Yeah, sure. I try. Uh -huh. <laughs> let you see the opportunity for the other, the other guys uh, practice. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> But don't yeah, don't give okay. That that, that but <laughs> don't don't give them so much I mean so much time. Don't give them so many opportunities. You can always take okay. those opportunities to participate. Okay. <laughs> now yeah. we don't have we don't have more time. Gossip. Right. Stop. Why? Sorry. Yeah, gossip with the cat. <laughs> yeah, and it's a good conversation. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Okay, we need to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. 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 But but beautiful cat. I love. Yeah, it. yeah. I agree with you. Bye. See you in the main room. Let's go. Okay. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. Let's go back to the main room, everybody. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. We are going to wait for them. All right, all right. Let's go back, let's see. Interesting answers. I was listening to very talkative tonight because it's Friday. Huh, everybody's participating in the breaking rooms. I like that. Okay, easy, difficult, 50-50. What do you think? How was the practice? Uh-huh, how was the practice? <laughs> Interesting, I like that. What else? How was the practice, everyone? Nice, easy, because easy. a lot of memories. A lot of memories. <laughs> From America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love her parents. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they love a lot of things when she was a teenager. <laughs> they let her? They let her, yes. They let her a lot of things. They let her do? Okay, they let her do? They let her do a lot of things when uh -huh. when she was teenager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sounds good. So I will ask you randomly some of you. Let me pick someone. I'm going to pick two. Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Hello, teacher. So tell me, what didn't your parents let you do when you were a teenager? Um, sorry, <laughs> repeat me, please. Yes, what didn't your parents let you do when you were a teenager? I, for me? Yes. Or for my com No, you. Think about when you were a teenager. The first question, what didn't your parents let you do? My parents let me... Oh, negative. Didn't? Didn't let me uh, out in the night. Go out? Go out in the night. Ah, very good, very good. Now, pick one of your classmates, please. Isabel. Okay, Isabel. Let me ask you question number two. What doesn't your boss let you do at work? Isabel, are you there? Okay, I think he's not listening. Uh, can you pick someone else? Um, Jamie. Jamie, question number two. What doesn't your boss let you do at work? Mm, my boss uh, doesn't uh, let me drive so fast. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> that sounds dangerous, Jamie, but good for your boss. That's nice. I like he, he doesn't let you. <laughs> Pick someone, please. Okay. okay. Mm. Mm. Hector. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hector, question number three. What activities don't you let your kids do? Um, I don't let, let uh, he, she, or uh, piercing, use, use piercing. <laughs> okay, hey, how old is she? Uh, 16. 16 years old, and she cannot let uh, wear mm -hmm. piercings. <laughs> okay. Piercing in the, in the ear? In the, in the ear? In the ears? On. Is in or on, teacher? In this case, you can say uh -huh. on in. ears, on because it's on a surface, on a part of a body. Mm -hmm. Okay. On, yes. on, on, on the ear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very Why good example. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why? Maybe when, when, when she's older. No. Maybe like uh, <laughs> 40, 40 years. Maybe. <laughs> so maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe. You know, my parents were a little bit old fashioned. I never had earrings on my ears. <laughs> never. So I didn't like it. And... Even now, I haven't had uh, uh, drills on my ears. <laughs> y no me los quiero perforar. I feel afraid. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. And oh, I prefer to stay good. like that. It's yeah, it's painful. It's my gosh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I proud you. Proud of you. Proud. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> Very good. So everybody, nice sentences. Now um, let's do one more exercise. And this is a written part, okay? I have five sentences and you have to complete the sentences using the verbs in parentheses. So we have help, satisfy. In some examples, you will use let. In some others, you will help, uh, use help. Just remember, when we use help, you can decide if you use the infinitive or the base form, okay? So I need a volunteer for the sentence number one. What will be the answer? Me, teacher, can I? Yes, Mirna, go ahead. Think about how your business help your customers to satisfy or satisfies their needs. All right. Just be careful. Helps. Helps. Try, to, Helps. try to exaggerate the letter S a little bit more because remember in this case, it's third person. And here you decide to satisfy or satisfy. Very good. I need a volunteer for the number two. I'm doing that homework. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so the number one says investors won't let companies develop without a plan to improve business plans. <laughs> All right. Good. I like that. I like that. I have a responsible student, huh? Responsible after all. Liked it. Number three, volunteer for uh, saying this sentence. Me? Yes, please. The play, the play helps employees become part of the brand. Very good. That's the one. So again, you can say helps employees become or helps employees to become. You decide. Very good job. Number four, volunteer. Can I? Yes, please. Being specific about a business brand. Uh, let customers identify our products easily. Nice job. I like that. Very good. Very good. And the last one, volunteer, please. Uh, 
Only one. Oh my goodness. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead, please. Brandy let the consumers are a perceived, 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 perceived value to the product. That's the one, perceived value to the product. Very good job. So easy, everybody. Just remember, you just have to keep in mind what is the meaning of the verb. And if you are going to use infinitive or the base form of the verb. Questions so far? Any questions? Or are you ready for a surprised exam? Oh. Exam! Yes, let's do an exam. Oh. Ready yes, for the exam? <laughs> Okay, before the exam, let's clarify some questions that you may have. This is going to be easy, everybody. Only about make, let, and help. Let's think about only does one. I'm not going to use get in this exam, no worries. Do you remember when we use make? What kind of scenarios? When, when it's an or, or uh, ah, authority, it, when you use my authority like a bus, I think. Correct. Like an order. order when we use authority. So this is not polite, right? This is with the authority. Now, in the structure, I need make, then what do I need? Someone. Someone. And verb and the base verb form. The base form. Very form. good. Verb in the base form. Do I need a preposition too? No. Never. No. Good job. Okay. Let's continue with let. What is the meaning of let? Let is a give a permission. Good. Give permission. Give a permission. Okay, what is the structure? Let someone, let someone, someone. In bear bear base form. form. Bear in the base form too. How about help? Help is is help. Is help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I like that definition. You can say aid, okay? Aid. Aid. Aid, aid someone. Okay. Structure. Oh. Help. Yeah. Someone. Someone. Or both. And both. And both. Uh -huh. Exactly. You can use the verb in the base form or infinitive that's it okay the most important here is the two things the meaning and the type of verb that you will use are you ready for the exam <laughs> ready ready that's the attitude Excellent. we know the, the theory go, go, go ahead go ahead okay look is make or let it i'm sorry is make or or let the exam? Is it, you 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 say make the exam or let do let's, the exam? Let's do the exam or let's take the exam. No, lo está diciendo con autoridad o nos está pidiendo. Ah, no, make. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, make. I will make you do the exam. <laughs> she is a, she, teacher is, oh. is authority. Authority. No. <laughs> I right now. It's an obligation. Yes. It's, uh, it's not optional. I will make you do the exam. It's, it's mandatory. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Jamie, did you have a question? Uh, when the the word uh, "live" is a uh, apostrophe in the letter "s," what is the meaning? Oh. Less. 
In this case, the meaning change a little bit. When we say let's, is the contraction of let us. And this is when we give and, and this is when we give suggestions like what are the plans for the weekend? Hey, let's go to the beach. Oh. So vamos, right? In this case, we are not giving permission, we are not suggesting okay. anything. This is just to give an idea about what we can do. So if you see, it's the same verb, but in the context, the meaning change. So this it's is enough. more, mm -hmm, this is more for suggestions. Okay. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. Exam. Look, it's just about make, let, and help. Vamos a olvidar un poquito el get ahorita. So I have here different sentences, and you just have to choose what is the correct verb. The point for this um, exercise, the key is to identify what is the meaning of the sentence. For example, in the number one, John's mother used to ta -ta 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 -ta, clean up his room. So what do you think? What is the correct one? Makes, make, or let? What is the intention of the sentence? Give a permission? Help yeah. or authority? Authority. It's authority. Let's say let. Thanks. But it's, it's made. made. It's made. Make. Yes. Okay. Some people say let. If you think that is let, okay. If you think that is make, perfect. But you have two options. Makes and make. So you have to decide which one do you think is the correct one. Okay. Make. So. Make? Makes. 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 Okay, it's an exam, so I'm not going to tell you, right? So you just have to choose the correct answer, but try to identify the intention in the sentence. In the second part, uh, it's the same, but here you have to draw the word, okay? You can just help, made, helped, and let. Again, in this scenario, you just have to decide what is the intention. For example, my mother didn't ta -ta 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 -ta, me stay out late when I was young. What is the intention in this sentence? Do you think that is like uh, obligate someone to do something or give a permission, help someone? So if you think, ah, my mother didn't, I will use made. Okay, if you think that made is the intention, look, drag the word and put it here. Okay, that's what you have to do in the next part. At the end, finished, check my answers and take a screenshot of your score. And the score send it on WhatsApp's group. Is it clear, the activity? Yes? Ready for the exam? Ready. <laughs> and some, some of you look like very worried. Relax, everyone. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice. OK, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group right now. And also, I'm sending it here in the chat. Open up the link, complete the sentences. Remember, I wanted to take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group. Go ahead. If you have a question about a vocabulary, if you have some doubt, you can ask me and I will help you. For this activity, we got 10 minutes, everyone. Go ahead.
Remember, if you have questions, if there is a word that you don't understand very well, just let me know. Pay a lot of attention in the words. Pay a lot of attention in the verbs. Remember, if you have auxiliary, what happens with the verb? Okay, that's the key. Be careful. I'm sorry, but I don't know if am I the only one who has this problem. What happened? I cannot, uh, the the text box. Uh-huh. I cannot put it in the answer. In the you, sentence. Cannot, you cannot draw it? Yes. Okay. Is there anyone who has the same issue, everyone? No? Me too. Me too. Okay, look. Um, well, I don't know what happens. Remember, the word let's, you cannot use it. You can use only mm -hmm. helps, made, helps, and let's. So sometimes, maybe, I'm not sure if the website doesn't charge. Like, como que si no cargo bien, maybe. If you give a refresh, maybe you can try it again. Because if you don't draw it, I mean... The system won't let you. No los deja ni siquiera salir o no los yeah, deja yeah, pegar. Yeah, yeah. Right, now, right now, yes. Erika, you need to put at the beginning. Right. The, at the beginning? Close, close to the, the word friends, film, film something. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Look. Es como que si este espacio <laughs> tuviera un cuadrito para pegarlo. Si lo dejan muy afuera, oh. no se va a pegar. Sino que es como que muy aquí, algo así. Ustedes yeah, lo van poniendo. Yes, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, it's at the end, the, the, at, the, at the start, the, at, at the, the beginning, beginning the, exactly. The, the beginning, the, 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 the letter. Exactly, it's at the beginning. If you put it at the end, it won't let yes. you paste it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot Thank to you. mention that. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Five more minutes. I want to see 10 in this exercise. Go ahead. Why are you laughing, Rosalina? <laughs> Rosalina or Ivan? I, I, I thought nothing. it was Ivan laughing too. I want to see 10, everyone. 10. What <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I, 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 I listen my names. Yeah, you are laughing. You finished? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Four Not more yet. minutes. Okay, four more minutes. Go ahead, everyone. You can do it. You can do it. I said, my not.
Remember when you finish, take a screenshot and send it in the group. One of your classmates already finished and very good score. I like that, very good. So everybody, be careful, try to read carefully. And of course, don't copy. I just want you to see if you truly understood the topic. I can put left teacher. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. But but you got a very good score. I like that. And and I can see that that was the word that you were trying to put. No worries. No, okay. The problem is the mouse. <laughs> I yeah, know. I know. I know. No worries. No worries. But I can yeah. see you were trying to put the correct answer. <laughs> Okay, I can see very good scores. I like that. Very good job. Okay, for the ones that already finished, what do you think? Easy or difficult? Uh huh. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? We have to think because when, in, in my case, uh, I it's difficult when you use the auxiliary and past or present. Or, uh -huh. But the, the form the ver the form is always in in the the base form when you use auxiliary, yes. That's yes. but it's difficult to me identify when I when I in the exam. <laughs> <laughs> you are under pressure, that's why. Yes. <laughs> but that's a good point. And that is the key, everyone. If you see in the exercise, when you see, ah, it has the auxiliary. So I need the verb in the base form. All right. That is something that you have to keep in mind. And also, you have to identify what is the intention. Right, you have to identify is is giving the permission, is using the authority, is helping. Okay, so you have to try to think about it. So that's is basically the most important things about causative verbs. Okay, I know that is a little bit confusing. But the more you practice this topic, the more you will learn, okay? Now, uh, if you haven't finished, do it, do it. I want to see all of your scores. If you want to do it after the class because of the connection, also you can do it. Now, before continuing, I'm going to check attendance. So if you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego? Present. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Okay, very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Okay, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Nice. Gabriel Beltran. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Uh, Jamie Raquel. Present. Good. Holman Saul. Present. OK. 
Okay. Lucy, Natalie. Present. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Magdaleno Escalante. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. No. Ah, oh, okay. There. Very good. Um, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone. Uh, wow, it's very late. I thought it was earlier. Okay, we don't have uh, so much time. So to finish this week and this class, what is the other topic that we have been practicing during this week? Uh-huh. Besides these casatives, What's another topic that we practice during all this week? What was it? Question, teacher. Exactly. Thank you, Hector. Asking questions. So during this week, we practice questions in present, in past. So today, we are going to have the last practice just to see if you are experts in the topic or if we need to practice it a little bit more. And we are go, uh, doing it through a game. We just have five minutes. So I think that we are not going to be able to finish it. If you pick a number, you will see a sentence and you just have to create the questions, okay? So girls, you are first, give me a number. Bye. Which one? Five. <laughs> Five, okay. The flow destroyed my house. Ask a question using what? The flow destroyed my house. So what happens here? Ask a question using what? Oh, what destroyed your house? Otra vez, what? What destroyed uh, your house? What destroyed your home? Is that your final answer? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, look, she said, what destroyed your house? And actually, that's a good option, but remember, simple past. What do I need? auxiliary. In this case, Erica, you can say, what did destroy your house? That will be the correct one. Okay, so you didn't say the auxiliary, I cannot give you the points. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tourists came to the island by boat. Ask a question using how. How did come the tourists? How did come the tourists? Mm -hmm. Is that your final answer? Help me, guys. <laughs> Boys. Okay. To, how to, how did okay, Hector tourists. said, how did come the tourist? The tourist. Okay. In the so, Iceland. Okay. To now, the it, Iceland. To the island. Okay, look, some hey, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Good because you use the auxiliary, but everybody remember the structure. Double H question, auxiliary, uh, subject, 
uh -huh. verb and the complement. So look, mm -hmm. you put first the verb and then the subject. So mm -hmm. the position mm -hmm. was not correct, but almost, almost. But even though I cannot give you the point, I'm sorry. Hey. It wasn't correct. <laughs> okay, <laughs> girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Four. Fatima, I'm sorry. Number four. Four, okay. The residents liked the new skate park. What did the resident like? Yes. What did the resident like? Then like okay. The, the skate park or? Hmm. Is that your the final new answer? New skate park. What yes. Did the resident yes. like. What did the resident like? Nice job. <laughs> Excellent. You see, it. you can do it. You can do it. Boys, give me a number. Eleven. Boys. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to school by bus on Monday. Is similar to the question, Hector. This is similar. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, boys, go ahead. Oh. Uh -huh. How did I come to the school? Again, how? How did I come? I come to the school. To the okay, school. how did I come to the school? Is that your final answer? How did I come to the school? Yes? Yes, I think. <laughs> mm. Okay, um, look. What happens here is the next one. What is the verb? When? When you go. Um, so, in, in the past, in the past. And you are not using go. You say come. How mm. did you come to school? So be careful, everyone. If I say go, let's try to use the same one. Mm -hmm. And you didn't say you, you say I. How did mm -hmm. I come to the school? So two words. Si hubiera sido solo el verbo, si le hubiera dado los puntos. But two words, sorry. Okay, because of the time. No, ten, sorry. Ten <laughs> <laughs> okay, because of the time. Girls, this is the last one for you. Give me a number. Nine. Nine, okay. My Eight. sister visited an abandoned town with their parents. Hmm. Who did your sister visit? Who did your sister visit? Are you sure? Visit. Is that your final answer? Okay, who did your sister visit? Hmm. Okay, be careful um, here. What is the meaning of who? I'm asking for people, right? But my sister didn't visit people. My sister visit um, abandoned town. I just want to know who did she go with? So the correct question is, who did my sister visit the abandoned town with? Con quien fue a visitar ese pueblo, right? That is what I'm trying to ask for. Almost, okay? Almost, but I cannot give you the points. <laughs> okay, boys, this is the last one for you. Give me a number. Boys. A number quickly because we don't have more time. Last one, 14. 14, okay. I took a photo of you to keep memories. Easy. Why did you take? Why, why did? Uh-huh. Why did, why did uh, uh, you take? Uh, uh, take? Why did take uh, photos? Why 
did take you take you take you take a photo why did you take a photo are you sure yes yes very good boys uh, finally <laughs> <laughs> okay it's a tie quickly one more question El que adivine esta gana, okay? So let's pick seven. El que la diga primero gana. He left his car in the car park. El que la diga primero gana. Where did, Where did he, he left the car? The car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like two <laughs> girls. Okay, girls, can you repeat? Erika. <laughs> Where did he left the car? Where did he left the Where? car? Where did he live? No, Where? Left. Okay, leave or left? Live. 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 Very good. <laughs> Remember, if you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes anymore. So that's correct. <laughs> Okay, we the win. winners, the girls, <laughs> a very good job, very good job. Okay, we don't have more time. Everybody, this is a topic that you can continue practicing by yourself every single day. Asking question is important. But even though in the next classes, we can take like 10 minutes to try to review this topic again. Don't forget to work on the platform. We are about to finish the course. The next week is the last one. So the next week we need to finish the unit number four and the last exam. Okay, everybody have a beautiful night and a beautiful weekend and see Thank you, you until Monday. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you. Happy weekend, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you too. See you.